my name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a puppy in Illustrator. So I'm going to just draw a very basic uh, puppy shape for you, um, the head at least. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to go to the ellipse tool, and the shortcut is just to push L and just draw an ellipse. Now, and then after you do that, um, go to the direct selection tool and you can select your anchor, um, select your left and right, but just start with your left, and you can adjust how the shape of the of the ellipse is gonna look. So we want kind of a more, yes, so you want this kind of shape. So I'm gonna actually just go ahead and uh, draw a, and make sure you still have the direct selection tool, just drag a rectangle over half of the shape and then it looks like the whole shape is selected, but only half is. So you're going to delete that. And then you're going to have this half. So then you just hold down Option and then just drag it. And then you can either right click or push Control and click. Go to Transform and Reflect. And just do a vertical reflection. And that way you've got your a direct copy of what you've just made. All right, so here we have the head. Um, and I'm actually going to lock this layer. And now we're going to do the ears. Um, so go to the pen tool. And uh, you can choose whatever tool you want to do this. I'm choosing the pen tool because of the um, ability to make nice bent lines um, perfectly. So I'm just going to draw this ear shape. Okay, so here we've got the ear, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. That's too big. So um, there we've got one ear, and I'm just going to hold down, like we did before with the face, hold down Option, drag it, um, Control, click, transform, and reflect. And there we've got a direct reflection. I just want to make sure that ear looks almost identical. Okay, and you will be able to see the lines for now, but we're going to fix that. Um, and if you want, if you think your head might be too bulby, you can just go back to the direct selection tool, select one of these anchors, and actually I've got it locked, so make sure you unlock it. And also what you're going to want to do is just um, make sure that this shape is one shape. So. I, for example, this isn't a shape yet, it's two shapes, so just make sure you select it and with the selection tool, not the direct selection tool. Select both, go to your Pathfinder window, and if that's not open, just go to Window, and in the bottom, Pathfinder sits right there. Um, and then select the Unite button, which is this button in the left, far left, and it'll just create one full shape. So um, now we've got the face, and now we're going to draw the eyes. So you can use the ellipse tool and just draw a tiny little circle and just drag that here, like that. So now we've got the eyes. Um, and then if you want them to be more puppy-like and kind of shiny, we'll just add another little ellipse and I'll copy and paste that, or you know, uh, copy it the way we did before. Okay, so now we've got the puppy's eyes. Okay, so now we're going to draw its nose, and this part can get a little bit tricky. So just zoom into your face and select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. But draw it kind of like an oval. And then go to your direct selection tool again and select these anchors. But just like we did with the face, we're going to make a dog nose. And you can do exactly what we did with the face, just select half of it and delete it, so that way we've got a half, and we can just copy it and do exactly what we, what we did with the face. And transform it, reflect it, and there we've got our nose. We're almost finished. Just make sure to go back to your Pathfinder window and select Unite so that it's one shape. And go back to your direct selection tool. If you think this is kind of too pointy, you can just, you can always actually select it like this here and then you can uh, move this back up if that's too small all right so now we've got this dog nose 
Let's make it a little bigger. This dog's have like that. Okay, and so we've already got our nose. Now we're just gonna go to the line tool, the line segment tool, drag a line down like this and make it one point. Okay, so here we've got our puppy outline drawing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it in. So simply select all your, your head shape and your ears and select a color. So we're, I'm gonna select a brown color. And we have our brown dog. And just to finish off our dog, we're gonna draw a tongue. Because dogs often have their tongues hanging out of their mouth. I'm just gonna draw a little tongue like that. And you can change the stroke um, slightly to be smaller so that way it looks a little better. And then just draw a line right down the center of the tongue, like so. And I'm actually gonna make the eyes a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm gonna lock the face because Actually, don't lock the face, but uh, just if you want to make your eyes bigger, you can zoom in and s select the selection tool and select your eyes and just make them a little bigger by doing this. And then uh, it's a little too far, so we're going to just... And then if you look... And there you have your puppy head. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw a puppy in Illustrator. Thank you.